Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the Phil Studio. Today is a great day because for the first time in the history of this channel, uh, we're doing a giveaway. So I know it's not much, but since it's the first giveaway, I think it's it's pretty generous anyway and I was doing the, a big cleanup in my lab and realized I have so much spare part uh, like way too many that I could ever use in my life so I found this bag of nice XLR um, connector chassis connector and they are female and uh, they are XLR 3-31 and the brand is ITT Canon I think Canon is an old term for uh, this kind of, uh, of connector or just a microphone cable. I found that these were something like $10, not sure, around $10. So I'm going to give away a bag of six of these connector and um, they, they are really of a good quality. They have these little pin uh, that are not inserted by default. So you insert them yourself. Uh, they fit tightly in there, they get stuck, and you can solder your cable before inserting them into the chassis connector. Um, so this is really amazing. So while I'm going to show you how to uh, insert them and solder uh, the wire properly, I don't think you need to see that, but meanwhile I'll do that just to show you that they work and they are good quality. Uh, I'm going to explain maybe a bit what you can do with these. Unfortunately, they aren't male XLR connector. And this is not a sexist call because what is cool about the male connector is that you could build yourself like a DI box, a, a direct input box. So what it does basically is you plug your line instrument and a one fourth inch connector input and via a small transpo and sometimes some some uh, ground uh, lift switch and phase inversion and sometimes the, the DI are are passive or sometimes they are active so they work with the 48 volt the phantom power or just the 9 volt battery and at the output of your transformer you have an impedance adapting and you balance the signal which means that you output it in uh, in XLR3 a connector it has to be a male so I don't know why I'm saying all of this because this is sad because these are, are female but there's plenty of stuff you can do with it I'm going to explain it in a sec uh, while I'm showing you how to how they work let's... okay guys so let's go real quick because this is truly a giveaway video and not a tutorial video so I don't want it to last uh, more than five minutes because you know how long my video can be so I have that uh, three uh, no, it's not three pair, but it's just a three wired uh, cable. And I think it's a good size for um, XLR cable. Then we have the like the barrel, everything is there, the XLR plug chassis. What is cool about that is that you center your all on whatever you want, uh, maybe a little case, a middle case, uh, anything. And you center your hole, you drill, you place it there uh, with a um, sharpie or anything. You just mark the two holes. You drill your hole. You place it back and then with some mechanical screws and some nuts. You're in business. This will be sealed tight and, and really like it's going to look clean because you have that small uh, chassis on the front. So these are the maybe we can call that pogo pin. So the small part here is where you will put your wire in there. I think, I am not sure 100%, I think this is supposed to be crimp. Uh, for this video, I don't have a crimper and I will do it with the soldering. So you just enter your wire in there. Make sure your soldering iron is really hot. Place it under. It's better to thin the wire before doing so. But I didn't do it because uh, I was scared that it would, it would not fit. And I hope this is something that can solder easily. I, I didn't try first 
So let's see. I think I did a pretty. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a okay gel. I think you can uh, pre thin the little um, pin here as well as your wire. Make sure it will fit inside after. And then you take that little guy here. You have the little pin here. I don't know if you can see it. It's down, pointing down. And when you place this on this side, uh, you slide it. And no, it's the other side around, the other way around. Anyway, you have to turn to feel it. Oh, okay, it's th that side. So the pin down, this one facing left, slide it. It was really easy. Now it's just stuck in there. It, it feels loose a bit, but as soon as you'll plug your connector in there, uh, your male plug, let's say the your microphone, it's going to be like really solid and nice connection. Amazing. And I didn't have the time to, to tell what you can build with that, but my goal, since I have some spare for me, I think I'm going to do maybe a small passive or uh, no just a small active mixer or maybe a small pedal um, a small dealy pedal for a microphone or even a microphone preamp just to a tube preamp I don't know like possibilities are much endless with electronic and and these chassis connector so I think it's good Okay, so today was a really quick video. It's really hot in there and I didn't want this video to last forever because I just want to give away uh, these things. I, I think most people will know what to do with them, will be really happy to receive them. And since it's my first giveaway, I'm not sure about how it works with shipping fees and everything. I'll have to check like if you're in Australia or in a Europe, Europe um, maybe I'll have maybe to to charge the shipping fees I'll, I'll make sure like it's not over uh, $30 and you won't pay like a cent for these wonderful so it's a set of six female chassis connectors and uh, since I'm really a nice guy and I'm amazing uh, you know what I'm going to give away three bags of these uh, six connectors uh, XLR chassis connector three of six so it's like $180 uh, giveaway and I don't really care but the only thing that you have to do is not subscribe or like the video you subscribe if you want to subscribe to the channel if you think my content is interesting and it serves you like go on and subscribe to the channel but to participate to this giveaway the only thing you have to do is comment on this video and let me know what you're going to do with these connector. It, it, I don't really give a damn. It can be I'm going to sell them, I'm going to give them, I'm going to burn them, I'm going to build a mixer, I'm going to do a patch bay for my microphone. Uh, it, it all everything is a good answer, and you just have to comment on this video what you're going to do with them. And in a month or so, when I see that there's a good level of participation. I'm going to do like a random selection. I'm going to use a software or something, maybe just a website. And I'm going to give you, well, three of you lucky one. I'm going to give them uh, a bag of these uh, six XLR connector and there's no uh, scab. <laughs> there's no scam. They come with the pogo pin and I counted them with my hand. I think I added some spare one just in case. And yeah, that's about it. So it's the first giveaway. I'm really excited. So I hope you enjoy uh, the show. And there's more video to come for sure, for sure. So uh, have a have a good day, and see you. Son, how do you push stop on that?